welcome to Tabletop Ready. My name's Michael and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to paint your Space Marines in the chapter colours of the Salamanders. I'm going to show you step by step how to paint their power armour with heavy metal highlights. I'll also be showing you how to paint their skin tone and much more. If you want to know how I get my miniatures ready for painting, make sure to go watch the tutorial I made showing you how I do it. I've put the brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below as well as putting them on the screen when I use them. If you enjoy my content, please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. And if you want to help support what I do, I have a Patreon which I'll also link in the description. I really appreciate any help and support and it goes a long way to growing the channel and allows me to keep improving the content I create for you. I've chosen to keep some parts separate to make painting our salamander easier. And I've used both Death Guard Green Spray and Chaos Black Spray to undercoat the miniature. The first thing we want to do is paint the power armour with a more suitable green for salamanders. The green I'm using is Warpstone Glow and I recommend using a flat brush for the first layer. This brush is great for spreading the paint more evenly over the surface, giving you a smoother finish. Make sure to avoid going over areas you've already painted to prevent creating unwanted texture whilst the paint is drying. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers and when you're ready to paint another layer, I would switch to a base brush. This just makes it easier to get to the places we may have missed with a flat brush. The next thing we want to do before working on the actual armour is to paint all the armour joints. It's better to do this now so we don't have to worry about being messy and ruining any work we may have already done. And to paint the joints I'm using some of Adam Black. And you can use some Warpstone Glow to clean up any mess whilst doing that. With that done let's get some definition on the armour with the recess shade. A recess shade is done by painting a darker shade or colour directly into the recesses and shallow details of a miniature. This allows us to create that definition without affecting the main colour too much. For the recess shade on our salamander I'm using Norn Oil and I find using a glaze brush is perfect for the job. It gives us more control as we don't have to worry about overloading the brush with some shade and it's able to get into smaller details that can be difficult for a larger brush. Again, you can always neaten up any mistakes as we go along with Warpstone Glow. Nobody is perfect. I now want to spend some time going through the process of highlighting. I want to do this because highlighting for me has to be one of the techniques that if you can do well, you can paint anything. When highlighting, I like to have a brush that I keep separate so I know I have a nice point on it when I need it. You also want to think about the consistency of the paint. I find I don't use as much water as I normally would as this is going to help us give that strong colour without multiple passes we would normally need to do when layering. It's also a good idea to remove some of the paint from the brush onto some kitchen paper which is going to help prevent those thick blobby lines. The first highlight I'm going to show you is a chunky highlight and I'm using an equal mix of both Warpstone Glow and Moot Green. The first highlight wants to be quite a thick line and this is going to help soften and bring out the next highlight we do. Go around all the panel edges and I'm almost using the side of my brush for this highlight to get the thickness I'm after. It's also going to help with defining the shape of those armour panels. The next highlight I'm going to show you is the fine highlight. I'm using moot green and this highlight is going to bring out all those sharp edges making them really stand out. For a lot of these highlights you can use the edge of your brush and run it along the edge to create the highlight making it a lot easier. For the areas you can't do this, just take your time and paint a thin line along those details to create the highlight. This is probably the trickiest and most time consuming part of painting a space marine, but it just takes some practice and the more you do the better your hand-eye coordination will get, making you a better painter overall. I'm going to finish off the highlights with a spot highlight and I'm using Dawn Yellow for this. You only want to paint little dots on corners and along some of the highlight lines around the armour. Now you may have seen some marines painted with little scratches and marks on their armour. This is pretty easy to achieve, just go around the armour with the tip of your brush painting little lines and spots in places. You want to use your mix of Warpstone Glow and Moot Green for this. You don't need to do a lot and I find when you're doing this it's better to have almost no paint on your brush, kind of like dry brushing. Once you've finished all of your highlighting, you'll be able to see what a massive difference it makes and the time spent doing it has been worth the effort. Now we have the power armour finished, it's time to work on painting the metals, belt and any pouches you may have. For any silver areas I'm using lead belcher. 
and for any decorative gold I'm using Retributor Armor. You now want to shade the silver with Norn Oil and the gold with Reichland Flesh Shade. After that has dried, lay both back up to the base colour we started with. We can now highlight both the silver and gold with Stormhouse Silver. For the belt and any pouches, start with some dryad bark. Lay this up with Gawthor Brown. And then bring out all those edges with a fine highlight of Carrick Stone. With those details finished, let's move on to painting all the areas that need to be black. There are still areas on our salamander that need to be painted like the backpack, bolter and shoulder pads. All these are going to be painted in the same way. Start by painting all these areas using a bad and black, making sure to get a nice solid colour to start with. We're now going to paint a chunky highlight using Eshin Grey, in the same way we did a chunky highlight for the power armour. After you've done the chunky highlight, paint an edge highlight using Dawnstone. Salamanders are unique in how their skin is painted, so I want to make sure you're able to paint this as well. Start with a base colour of Skaven Blight Dinge. You then want to layer up with some Storm Vermin Fur, making sure to only paint the raised detail of the face. Now paint the eyes with Mephiston Red. Now we can create some definition, giving the head a wash of Norn Oil. And once that's fully dry, we can finish with a highlight of Carrick Stone. You may have chosen to keep the helmet, and so to finish the tutorial, let me show you how to paint the lenses. Just start with a line of white scar in the centre of each lens, and then finish up by using some iand and yellow contrast, which will make the lenses look like they're glowing. Our Salamander Space Marine is now finished, and I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to go away and paint your own. I've plenty of other tutorials on the channel, including how I apply my transfers, and how to paint some of the other Space Marine chapters. I really enjoy making these tutorials and I hope you find them useful. You can really help the channel by liking the video and commenting below. You can also support me at Patreon which makes a massive difference in helping me make these videos. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.